I'm seriously not kidding when I say I've been doing homework all day long. So if a video and a vlog make a vlog, then what would you call Tara Bright in a vlog? It's a New Year's resolution! We call it Tara Bright. Making vlogs every day for us. It took me th two, two and a half hours of sitting there trying to figure out how to get into my school's server because I'm supposed to upload my projects and everything to that. I'm not allowed to give other links to anything I've ever created. Like, I can't say, look, look at my videos on youtube.com slash terabyte. No, I'm not allowed to do that. And I can't submit something I already created. So I finally figured it out and I did my art history homework and I... I still have Spanish I have to do. I had to write a resume, a fake resume for my Adventures in Emerging Media class. I had to write a fake resume that I got to pick from four different things and I just chose to make a commercial about a product. And I didn't realize that it was due by Sunday. I thought that like we had to do each part of it because he gave a list of things we had to do for it. And I thought like we're gonna do each part like each week. And I realized he wanted all of that by Sunday. And I'm like, oh crap, I have two days. So I have to write a script in movie format and plan out the thing. I'm actually doing um, a commercial for Wheel Hole, for, so that's pretty cool. So I guess it would be useful. DJ's dad can use the commercial for the future. Uh, I, I've seriously just spent the whole entire day sitting on the computer. My eyes hurt, my head hurts. Um, tomorrow I have to go to a baby shower, and that's for my cousin. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. So if you're wondering what I planned, I planned this like epic thing between a couple, which would be DJ's neighbors, I hope they can be the couple in my video for Wheel Hole. I want them to be all like making faces at each other in slow motion and just like demonstrating how the game goes, but it's gonna be like epic music and stuff and all in like a big like war between them. And then at the end, Dana, the girl, the, well if, she, if that is if the, uh, if his neighbors are gonna help me out. But she, she's gonna be like, yeah, in slow motion, and then it's gonna be like, Wheel Hole. I don't know. It's gonna be like, just really... I didn't really want anything to narrate in there. Like, I didn't want any talking in it, because that just added more to my assignment. But I'm not sure if they're gonna let us put it on YouTube, and I don't know if DJ's dad wants to put it on YouTube yet, or if he's gonna wait for it when he's ready to do that. I don't know. Alright, so we're gonna do some planning. Every time we do these theme songs, well, especially lately, we've been getting a lot of trolls nitpicking at little stupid things that we thought were good things that we did to the song and then the trolls turned it into a bad thing. Um, for instance, we made most of our recent intros, we made them short. Not because we're lazy, because we feel that a short intro is good for their vlog or whatever videos they're doing because it gets straight to the point, it gets the intro over with so no one's focusing on the intro and they can go right to the video and start watching the video. Or but to the die-hard fans, to the diehard fans that watch their show, they get all offended thinking that we made it short because we're lazy and we just wanted to get on their video and stuff, and that's not how it is at all. Apparently people like long and annoying intros. Whenever we do something long, they say it's too long, and whenever we do something short, they say it's too short. Shaytard's- is long. So is Shaytard. Shaytard's in and, and CDBXC are long. So that's why we made Voyeur Bright long, but then everyone's like, oh, it's too long. So then we started making short ones, and I was like, oh, they're too short. What the heck? <laughs> I guess we gotta find somewhere in the middle or something. But to me, it seems like people like long ones more than short ones. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> so that's one thing that we gotta think about. <clears throat> Another thing, um, people think that our songs sound the same. I completely disagree. Our songs have been changing a lot since Shaytards, I thought. Just because it's guitars and it's us singing doesn't mean they sound the same. <clears throat> so that's one thing I'm, I'm, I disagree about. I think people just want to hear different instruments and different vocal tones. So I guess if I sang and she did harmonies with me maybe and we put some acoustic guitar and it's just like... I like our sound. So when we were making the Casey LeVere intro, we were thinking about things that people would probably point out. Like, they always say that our stuff sounds the same. 
So we tried to make a like a what is it called in the beginning? We put strings in the we beginning. We put strings in the beginning, and we put a DJ put did a, cool a good, effect on it. DJ did a guitar solo, which he's never done in our songs. And we tried to make it different, and still the comments say all our stuff sounds the same. Not only that, but I use a progression that I normally wouldn't do. It's hard to explain. Also, the guitar sounds that we used were completely different. I used a different guitar guitar set from, uh, I mean, a different guitar rig from guitar rig. I didn't want to say that because it'd be redundant, but yes, I use a different guitar rig from guitar rig, so I have a new guitar rig, and they have a new rig in guitar rig, so I use that rig, and it's different. Well, that's confusing, but yes. So the guitar sounds different. It has lead guitar. It has the strings in the beginning with, like, a cool effect that goes back and forth. We didn't end it with, like, a da like we usually do. We ended it with a da like it, it, it suctions. Yeah, it does a little, it goes down and it goes, it reverses and goes back up. Like we try to do all these different things. Another thing that people troll about all the time is they want to see or hear something about each person in the vlog. I know our Shaytards intro, sometimes we edit in video and we missed some one person maybe that didn't exactly count as a Shaytard in our eyes. I mean like they, they say Tard after their name. What's the example of one? Cooper Tard, for instance. I feel like Cooper Tard isn't in enough vlogs to be considered a part of the Shay Tards, and he's not really Shay and Katie Let's son. Little things like that. They're like, oh, you forgot Cooper Tard. They're like, what? We don't say we don't say their names in it though. We just sh showed pictures and put their name. Yeah. We don't say it. But for whatever reason, just because we didn't put Cooper Tard in one of our uh, out intros. Everyone said that they hated it. Just because of that. I don't know, do you think it's possible to filter out the trolls? Do you think it's possible? No. I think the more... I think the more subscribers we get, the more trolls we get. I yeah. Think, I think that's what we're learning. I feel like uh, there was a time when... Everybody 90 was 90% nice. of people were nice. Like, Everybody. All of... Yeah, pretty much everyone you. that came into our videos were nice people. And I feel like it's not just our videos. But it probably is. It just seems like we're getting trolled way more than we usually do. So I don't understand it. Because we're doing the same thing we've always been doing. Yeah. People always say, oh, yeah, the trolls are what make you famous or whatever. Although that doesn't make sense. It does make sense at the same time. But I would rather people that aren't trolls make us famous because we want the people that are supporting us be the people that bring us up there so we can thank them. We don't want to thank trolls, you know? I mean, I don't want to be like, thanks to all the trolls. You know, it's just, that doesn't make sense. You guys watching this vlog, I would say 99.9% .9 of you are not trolls. It's on our Terabyte channel that, that the trolls come. Or then we make a video on Terabyte, and then they search something similar, and they come up, see our vlog, and they come and troll that vlog. So, I trust you guys. You guys are cool. I mean, we, we just do what we like, and we make what we think is good, and we have fun making it, and we just want everybody to have fun watching it. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that people should take it so seriously. People ask us why we do intros all the time. I'm just gonna clear this up one more time. We do intros because we're YouTubers. YouTubers need to make something once a week, at least, or, I mean, once a, every other week at least, but once a week is probably better, but sometimes we skip a week, to stay in an area where people know who they are. And if you eventually stop making videos, people are going to forget you, and you're going to become no one's again. And we are constantly struggling to stay above the water. And it's something that we love doing, it's fun to do, and it's our token of appreciation to all of these YouTubers that are keeping YouTube alive. And we love their videos, and we, if you notice, we make it for people that we potentially watch. Like, these are people that we like. We, we love these people. And it makes us happy, obviously, seeing ourselves on someone's video that we love. Also, we feel like as we make more intros for YouTubers, and obviously we're getting subscribers out of that, I mean, I'm just gonna be straight up, like, we're not, we're getting subscribers from it, but that's not mainly why we're doing it. Like, we're just, just trying to stay above the water. But as we do this and get subscribers from, say, Shaytards or CTFXC, and it grows from there, as we make more intros, we're actually sharing subscribers from Shaytards over to someone else we make an intro for. So it's, we feel like we're creating this thing where we're like in the middle and we're sort of helping the YouTubers help us help them. And it's just sort of like the whole YouTube community is such a giving community. Everyone loves to help each other out and this is our way of helping people out. It's our way of collaborating too. Because collaborating is like the biggest possible thing you could do on YouTube. And that's a tip. That's a tip. If you want to get big on YouTube, then you got to do a lot of 
collaborating. That's that's like the only way to really get anywhere. Um, believe it or not, most of the big YouTubers that you're watching right now wouldn't be anywhere if they didn't collaborate. So we're doing it just like the same exact way that they, they did, except we're doing intros. I think I've already said this before, I want to tell him again. Ray William Johnson, when he was in No One, he collaborated with Michelle Fan, and after that, he sent she sent over like 40,000 subscribers to him, and that's how he started. We learned that at Next Step from Michelle Fan. Don't think that if you collaborate with someone, or you make someone an intro and get on their video, don't think that you're stealing their subscribers. You're giving to them, and then they're giving back. It's just a giving community. That's what YouTube's all about, and that's why we love it, and it's just, honestly, we couldn't be more thankful about it. We just love how everyone's so nice in YouTube communities, and they're just welcoming, too. I'm getting all emotional. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> At VidCon, every single one of them were like, oh yeah, we love you guys. It's just like, you love us? Why do you love us? <laughs> like, it's just, it's pretty crazy. And that is our talk. <laughs> we have one of these okay. every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> it's like our way of venting. And but you guys are our where listeners. I started, I started somewhere and I kind of branched off. I think it's possible. I think we can filter out most of the trolls somehow. And if not, we could battle them or something. I don't, I don't know. I know you don't want to feed the trolls. Give us suggestions on what you think that our intro should be like. I mean, we can't take all of your suggestions, obviously. We can only, like, put, take them into consideration and try to work with them and put it into our intro. We want to make the Shaytards song awesome. So give us your suggestions on how you think we could avoid anything the trolls could possibly say. Uh, some people are like, why are you making another Shaytard song? Well, it's because we promised Shay Carl that we would make him an original. We actually didn't make the Shaytard song. We covered it. So we're making an original. By Toby Soap, by the way. Yes. So we're making an original for Shay because we promised him and he he actually asked us when when are you making my original when we're at VidCon so we're like we got to get on that so let's just do it and and see how it turns out I am really nervous though because I want it to be really good for some reason I feel like if we don't do this right we're making our, we're going to make ourselves look like a fool because of the first one was yeah, so good we, we can't <laughs> fail we can't fail this one this has to be awesome and this goes back by the way, to the token of appreciation part where I was talking about for the intros, we felt like it wasn't enough appreciation by covering his intro. We want to make him something that we thought of completely ours from our heart to him. Then we'll be satisfied with giving to Shaytards because he obviously gave back to us more than we could have ever given him. So uh, we feel like we need to give more. He's the reason we're here. He is. We love you, Shay. We love you so much, we're gonna kiss on camera. What? What? <laughs> that was for you, Shay. <laughs> we made a list, so please tell us if you agree or not. We, this is how we see it. These are all the Shay Tards. Shay Carl, Mommy Tard, Princess Tard, Sun Tard, Baby Tard, Rock Tard, Malachi. I don't know I how to spell Malachi. I think you spelled Malachi wrong. I don't know how to spell that. Those are all the Shay Tards as far as we're concerned. Anyone else might have a Tard after their name, but we feel like that, I mean, I mean, I'm not saying that, like, they're worthless or anything. I'm just saying we we don't feel like they're in enough of the vlogs to be considered a part of the show. Because I mean, yeah, it's basically a show, and they're all characters, and in a show with characters, you don't usually put characters in the intro that aren't going to be in pretty much every single show, unless of course Shay's like travelings or something. You know what I'm saying? And these are characters that most likely will be in most of the shows, except maybe Malachi. He's not in all of them, but like, we feel like this is the Shaytards right here. Is there anyone else that you think should be part of the Shaytards? If there is, we most likely disagree with you, but we just want to hear what you say. It's real. See this orange juice right here? Or carrot juice, I mean. It's orange though, so it is orange juice. Um, my dad is returning it. Wanna know why? Because it's disgusting. <laughs> you should try it. <laughs> it smells good, smell it. Smell it. Why would you return something that you think is disgusting? You already opened it. I don't know, he just said it's absolutely disgusting. He said it's like, ridiculously disgusting. Yeah, but... I didn't know you were allowed to return something you just don't like. Well, I mean, I thought there has to be something wrong with it. Yeah, there's something wrong with it. It's no, gross. No, like, but it, I thought that there had to be something like other than that. Well, you could try to return it at least. Well, I'm not gonna drink more out of it if he's gonna return it. I mean, you can drink enough to where it doesn't. No, look like I'm you not drink tasting anything. it. I'm not tasting it. I'm having V8. Smell it though. No. Do you like your V8? 
I love my V8. You should put some of the um, Bloody Mary juice no, in it. No, I don't like the spicy no. no, seriously, this is tough. No, because I just had spicy salsa. And it I doesn't make it that much spicier. I want to get rid of the spice. It could. What are you doing? So are there any suggestions for a website at terabredmusic.com? Um, I think it's looking pretty cool. Other than the fact that we don't know how to switch the post order. Yeah, we gotta figure that out. Um, and I guess we gotta figure out how to put a little thing right there, which is probably easy. I just haven't gotten around to it. Are there any other pages you think we should add here? I'm thinking about adding a forum, maybe? That'd be cool, right? And, um, I'm trying to figure out how to make like take categories of posts and put them separately in like a different page maybe because I sort of want to separate the stuff we like for instance this which is awesome but that's not our thing it's not ours but I just wanted to post it because I think it's so awesome and the developers need as much support as they can because it's ridiculously cool I can't wait till it comes out but anyways yeah, check that out though I want to separate this stuff from this stuff and this stuff and figure out how to put them on different pages if that's possible. I don't even know. I, this is my first time using WordPress. Yes, we're using WordPress. So if anyone can help us out with that, that'd be cool. And it'd be nice to figure out how to switch this so they're in the right order. Other than that, is there anything else you could suggest to us, maybe? Maybe plugins we could use or something? Because we want this to make, be awesome and something that you guys can rely on to go to for content. And, I mean, I want to I, I make a section where we could put all of our Vlarebrite videos, too. That'd be cool. Do you know I spent six hours today doing homework? Actually, two, but, but like half of that, I was trying to figure out how to get on the server for UCF because I had, eh, long story, kind of. That's why we're talking to you, having a big talk with you at night, because we didn't do anything today. Well, I did a lot of things. I did a lot of things. I just didn't do anything that you could record. <laughs> Same thing for me. So we did a lot of things, but nothing that we could really record. I thought we were going to record music today, but... It's pretty late already. Yeah. And I have that to, never stopped I have us before. I wake up kind of early compared to normal tomorrow, so I gotta go to bed soon. So I'm going to By the way, we set up all this Terabyte game stuff, and I keep calling Chris and he's not picking up, so... Really? He's not? No, I keep calling him, I'm like, I want to be like, hey Chris, guess what? You just got DL'd. <laughs>